early decades of the 1900s, the hamlets of Hokesson, York Lynn, and Ashland lay peacefully nestled in the wooded hills of rural Newcastle County. But by the late 1950s, the growth of Wilmington suburbs encroached on these small towns. As the parish population quadrupled, the existing structures at St. Patrick and St. John the Evangelist were inadequate to support the increasing demand. Bishop Edmund Fitzmaurice decided to procure a tract of land to be used for building a parish facility with sufficient space for future expansion. In August 1960, the Catholic Foundation purchased a little more than 14 acres of land from Robert and Mary Walker. Located between Old and New Lancaster Pike in Hokesson, the property's altitude of 405 feet afforded a magnificent view of the surrounding area. In July 1963, Bishop Isle granted permission to construct a church and rectory to be named St. Mary of the Assumption, reviving the name of the original Mother Church at Coffee Run. Construction began in 1964, and the Reverend Anthony de Michel celebrated the first Mass on the Feast of the Assumption, August 15, 1965. Once again, responding to the needs of a growing parish community, with many active ministries and activities. St. Mary's facilities were expanded in 1990. Under the guidance of Father Leonard Kemsky, the new parish center connected the church and rectory, including a chapel, classrooms, offices, meeting rooms, and a larger social hall. Moving into the 21st century, the aging structures required some updates. Reverend Charles Dillingham, led the 2017 installation of 12 new stained glass windows depicting the life of Mary and honoring the history of our parish. Complementing the colorful windows were renovations to the altar and chancel areas, and most recently, replacement of the church's lighting system. As we celebrate the 250th anniversary of St. Mary of the Assumption and reflect on our rich history, it is clear that our parish is more than a brick and mortar structure. The beauty of our church on the hill is a reflection of the many generations of faithful people responding to the call to love and serve our Lord and to the clergy who shepherded their flock with dedication and foresight. <laughs>